Howdy. Mike McCoy here, CNM Sawmill. I just showing you a picture of this old saw blade we've got nailed up here on the wall. This is the only new blade I've ever bought. Bought it uh, several years ago. And uh, I guess you can see right there. All up there, we hit a piece of metal. Destroyed it. it I could have fixed it back, but it, it would have never sawed right again. There's just too much damage. And uh, I just brought it up here and hung it on the wall. See these spots right here? That's where it's been hammered. See, there ain't many spots on there. I don't think that saw's ever hammered, but maybe three times. Well, it was hammered three times. You can see there are three different marks. But that's about a $2,500 wall hanging now. But it made a lot of lumber in its time. But these saw blades ago, its time was fairly short. But it's what they call a B pattern saw. And uh, the B pattern, as you can see, this gullet right here. See that little notch? That's what holds the tooth. That supports it. Uh, and right there you can see it's uh, it's in there. And the older saws didn't have that. That was just a half moon. And that little point right there is all helped the, the two. And they'd, they'd, they'd give a lot of trouble. But these saws do real good. They make a B and an F pattern. The B pattern is more for hardwood. And the F has got more, more teeth. And... Uh, I just like a B pattern saw, that's what I've always used, and that's what I know. But there's that old saw. And then here's that piece of metal that broke broke my saw up there. That was in a poplar log. And, you know, you can see about how big it was. And there's the end where it cut it off, it just busted that saw to pieces. Ain't no telling. I guess some old farmer throwed that in a tree or something. Up. Sure messed my saw up. And I had another one. And I hit the carriage with it and ruined it. So I've ruined two saws since I've been doing this. Here's her old cat, old Boo Boo. She's she is really old, ratty. She's about a third bobcat. She just appeared here. Her mama come and had a gang. And I reckon she was the meaner mama left her. My son Chad took her in. She's just a baby. And we've had her ever since then. She's so old now she won't even hardly get up. But I don't know if you can see her ears there. She's a little tufts of hair on her ear. She's sure enough part bobcat. Yeah. She can be a mean old cow when she wants to be, which is most of the time. But I think a lot of her, she's got a lot of character. Uh, here's her turnip green. We've, we've been eating them. This is her late fall, winter crop of turnip green. And here's her collards. And the collards ain't done as well, but they're coming along. We'll, we'll eat some of them. These turnip greens have done real good. We've had two or three messes of them. That's what we call them here in the south when you fix a meal or something like that. You call it a mess. You, somebody coming by, you'll say, do you want a mess of turnip greens? And they'll know what you're talking about. And a lady from up north come by and sold her some lumber, and Mary Ruth was picking some beans. And she said, do you want a mess of beans? And that lady said, oh, no, I don't want a mess of nothing. <laughs> kind of made Mary Ruth mad, and Mary Ruth just kept working. And I said, well, ain't you going to give her no beans? She said she didn't want no beans. <laughs> but I explained to her what a mess was, and she did want the beans. She just didn't know what we was talking about. So, oh, boo-boo. She's enjoying this sunshine. I'll be back in a minute.